Hello YouTube, welcome to Art of Charm TV, I'm Johnny. And I'm AJ. This month, as you guys know, we've been chatting about negotiation. We brought in a wide range of characters and have certainly been having some fun on the podcast. But today we wanted to give you five tips to help you negotiate better. Number one, always look for the win-win. Exactly, negotiation doesn't have to be a win-lose scenario. It doesn't have to be a winner-take-all where the other person has to feel slighted or feel like they couldn't leave the table with a win. So how do we get to the win-win? Well, we have to grow the pie. We have to think about other ways that we could add value to the person's life that we're negotiating with. And this leads to tip number two. Yes, in our research, one of the best lines that I've heard during this month, and it comes from Richard Schell, before you negotiate, you must investigate. That's right. We're gonna use our emotional intelligence and empathy to put ourselves in the other person's shoes. What would be their ideal outcomes? What are their desires, wants, and how can we get to a consensus on that? A lot of times we go to the negotiation table only thinking about our expected outcomes and how we can get something out of it. But just taking a minute to think about what that other person is thinking, feeling, and how their expected outcome would look like in a negotiation can help strengthen your position and allow for that win-win to happen. Another tip is to make sure that both parties have enough time to adequately and articulate, go through all their wants and desires in order to find that win-win. Exactly, sometimes when we're in a negotiation, it can be tense, it can be stressful, if we're a little nervous. We tend to have this shot clock in the back of our head and it rushes us, and when we're rushed, we actually make really poor decisions. So take your time when negotiating, be willing to walk away from the deal. That actually gives you leverage. Tip number four, and this is for those who fear the idea of walking in that room and negotiating. If you feel that you're a bit intimidated, if you feel the other party is a bit aggressive, put it all on the table, call it out. Exactly, when you get there and you are feeling a little nervous and maybe intimidated because you lack some experience and the person across from you is a seasoned vet when it comes to negotiating, let them know. Be like, hey, you know, I'm a little bit more cooperative and I don't really like negotiating. It seems like you're really competitive and you love negotiation. What's the best way that we can come to a deal that works for both of us? I'd love to get to a win-win. And number five, let's make sure that we go into the negotiation having a good plan B. That's right, we need a BATNA, a best alternative to a negotiated agreement. Meaning, what is another outcome that would make you happy in that negotiation? A lot of times, we go into negotiation only thinking about one outcome, and that leaves us handcuffed if things don't go our way. Having a BATNA, that backup plan, allows you to negotiate from power, and knowing that you have that in your back pocket can often lead to that high value negotiation. A bat will also help you have a line in the sand so that you'll know when that negotiation is breaking down and you can walk out. If you like this and you want more tips on negotiation, check out our podcast this month. Yes, I will say that negotiation doesn't have to be hard. It can actually be fun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also click the little notification bell. That when we upload a new video, you'll be notified. See you next week.